On this episode of Function Beast, we're doing season two prep on the RV25 S13. This year uh, for drift prep is we are putting on that catch can that you saw back in episode whatever uh, the reason for that is because this car leaks oil like a goddamn sieve um, so the first thing that you need to do is take the old catch can that you got for $19 shipped on Amazon and throw it away so you can replace it with the one that you got for $30 shipped on Amazon than the inside. All right, kids, that's how you do that. Sucks balls. The next thing we're doing for season prep is fire extinguisher mount. Uh, on this car, it was mounted to the harness bar, which isn't the best. You want to be able to reach it without taking your harness off, which is kind of difficult to do when it's behind your shoulder and you're trying to jam your arm back there and your car's on fire and you're going to die. So we're going to put it in the passenger side footwell so that you can do that. Also, so that uh, safety crews can grab it if your ass is unconscious and they need to drag you from the flaming wreckage that needs to be in Basically, the process for this is the same as uh, when we did it for the 350Z for Evan's car. What we're going to do is we're going to take this bracket off the back of the uh, fire extinguisher here, mark out some holes on the passenger side uh, trans tunnel, and just go ahead and drill some holes out and then put red certs in those holes. And that is going to be what mounts the uh, fire extinguisher. That is marked and measured. We're also downsizing the intercooler for better throttle response. The Banium intercooler that was on the car was far too large for the power that it was making. This smaller intercooler will support up to 400 wheel horsepower and sharpen throttle response. This season, the car is also getting a full function motorsports angle kit. This includes extended control arms and cut and shut knuckles. Motorsports angle kit knuckle. It's a cut and shut knuckle. Um, one of its special features is that it has this reinforcement spine between the tie rod pickup and the ball joint pickup. Um, you can see it there pretty well. Uh, so it's final. With extended tie rods and offset rack spacers, we achieved approximately 60 degrees of usable angle before the wheels hit the sway bar. You can increase this angle by using a blade style sway bar or offset tension arms. On this episode of Function Beast, we're doing season two prep on this fucking pile of garbage. On this episode of Function Beast, we're doing season two prep on Galen's worst nightmare. On this episode of Function Beast, we're doing season two prep on the Exxon Valdez with wheels. On this episode of Function Beast, I'm gonna cry in my car. Ha 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 ha!